So in this Photoshop CS6 tutorial we are going to combine the head of one person with the body of another person. This will involve several useful techniques in Photoshop. I've got Adele the pop singer as one of the people and the other person I'm using interestingly is Maria Sharapova the famous tennis player. Obviously these two ladies have different body shapes so it will be interesting to see if I can manage to combine the head of Adele with the body of Maria Sharapova. So the first thing I've done is to duplicate the layer so I've got a backup layer in case something goes wrong I always do that on in Photoshop and I'm going to now pick the quick selection tool in the toolbox and I'm going to select Adele's head so I just click on the layer and make a selection of the head for this exercise the selection does not have to be perfect so we'll just click and drag around the hair don't want to spend too much time on this I'd say that's reasonable for now actually there's a little bit too much at the top so I'll just click on this minus subtraction take away some of that top part and then back on the plus to add a little bit back a little bit tricky okay that'll do for now that's fine so we'll work with that once we've made that selection we can copy it edit and copy so now basically I think we're done with the Adele image so we'll just click over to the Maria Sharapova image now luckily as you can see these two images are similar poses which is what really what you want so now I'm going to paste Adele's head onto this image we'll click on the um, move tool and slide it up obviously it's too small so control T will bring up the transform box and we'll enlarge it to the roughly the size of Maria Sharapova's head, just let's double check and a little bit more about there I would say, so once we're happy with the size of Adele's head we will click on the check mark at the top or you can press enter on the keyboard and that sets the transformation so now we'll move the head across to where we think it should go where it looks natural that looks okay now what we need to do is tidy up around the edges of this head to make it blend in with the body so the head's on a separate layer if we start with the eraser tool so click on eraser check what size it is it's quite small I'll add a little bit of size to it you can click up on this drop down and move the slider or you can press the square brackets left and right next to the return key on the keyboard ok I think I'll zoom in with the zoom tool so we can see what we're doing and I'll go back to the eraser and let's start erasing some of this neck away so that we can reveal the dress below so I'm just going along the top edge this dress now just to make it blend in with the neck so rubbing the neck away erasing it away and that looks okay for now now as you can see when we selected Adele's head it wasn't a great selection and we've ended up with a very rough edge so what I think I will do to begin with is to use the eraser reduce it in size and we're gonna just before I carry on actually I'll just click up here and change the feathering so we have a soft edge it is actually only at 12% and that's very low so now we go around the edge of the hair and we erase those pixelated areas so this makes the image overall look more believable the feathering helps the image of the head to blend in with the background and 
that's a very easy method to join a head to somebody else's body.